pleasure to have you back here again. I'm delighted to be able to analyze a great sense by Dora Bikrish. It brings me back a lot of good memories. Stick around. Kalinia by L'Artisan is my niche fragrance for this video. It is not an ordinary fragrance to me. It really is a piece of art. It is a unisex aromatic fruity fragrance from 2013. In my humble opinion, it leans a tad more masculine than feminine, but it's unisex. It works just fine for ladies. So the name of the fragrance comes from Provençal, to court or to flirt. It hinges on the concept of using local ingredients in the formula like clary sage and special jasmine marmalade. Jasmine marmalade accord, recalling a delicacy that perfumer Dora Begrish used uh, and consumed locally. It is an EDP concentration and it lasts really long. Tales of sun soaked sage, inspired by landscapes of grass in the south of France, complemented with notes of fig and jasmine on a pine base. The chic and elegant quality of this fragrance and a lot of niche fragrances come from Ambroxan. Ambroxan is a great constituent for mimicking the odor of organic ambergris. We're going to talk about ambergris, Ambroxan, a lot of ingredients. But I just want to say something interesting really quickly. Now in the older days, perfumers had more freedom to use a lot of ingredients that are not allowed today. Ingredients that are not commonly used anymore. Well, that is not really the case anymore. Fig fragrances have a lot of obstacles on their way because using a lot of natural ingredients are banned. Perfumers are not allowed to use natural ingredients from fig anymore. There is no fig in this fragrance. From a 2004 article by Tony Bearfield, a brief guidance on essential oils indicates that fig leaf absolute as an essential oil is phototoxic and will cause skin irritation and in some cases very severe skin irritation especially when exposed to light or when exposed to the sunlight and for this reason it is banned from inclusion in perfumes by the International Fragrance Association. There is no fig in this fragrance, but they could attempt to get very close to it. Sometimes aroma formulations can remind you of something else that has nothing to do with um, what the perfume maker was aiming for originally. This one did not initially remind me of fig right off the bat. Kalinia reminds me of dill very, very much. To me it smells very herbal as well, but uh, not medicinal or anything. It's very fresh, kind of grassy I would say. It is only available in 100 ml and it can be discounted for 100 bucks. The original price on the website was about 135 also found it at the store for this price. You can see the amount of juice left in the bottle through the light. Bottle is really, really nice, really classy. Kind of heavy as well. Almost very heavy for a perfume. Very typical for a L'Artisan perfume. It has this uh, glass bottle, you know, faded beautifully, and the cap is kind of heavy. By the way, you can get your own um, personalized engraving here for free if you buy it on the website, on the official website. So there you have a um, complimentary engraving for yourself. Yeah, it definitely lasts uh, longer than 8 hours, maybe between 8 to 10 hours or something. Mm, on my skin it would last like 10 hours and for a fresh scent I think this is really, really good. Performance, I would say, for a fresh scent, I would say it's 9 out of 10. It's uh, really, really good. The sillage is really, really good. The pine keeps growing and growing. And most niche fragrances, because of their quality, are not very versatile. And because of the price value. 
Not all of them are good for casual situations, for example. And this one is more fitting, I would say, in the spring. You know, it's not very optimal for the colder days or for the blistering hot summer days. It can definitely be worn either during the day or at night. It would work perfectly. It's good for the nighttime and for the daytime. As for the price value, I would say 7 or 8 out of 10. Because um, you're not gonna spray a lot of it. You know, I've been using this one for 4 years now. It hasn't entirely finished. Yeah, I have two bottles because, you know, I love this. You know, I use it like excessively, right? And because I use it excessively, I have two bottles. And um, yeah, this shows how much I like this fragrance. So if you do have the opportunity, do you get this fragrance? You're gonna love this. You can wear it for the upcoming spring. This is gonna be your signature scent for the spring, 2021. It's very mass appealing, very safe. Everybody's gonna like it. I don't think it would have any haters. It's literally artistic. 